time to talk about the XFL. I know what some of y'all might be thinking. Why are we talking about XFL? Isn't that league dead? And actually, you know what? Not some of y'all. Most of y'all. The answer? No. This is far from over. The XFL lives on. The XFL didn't file for bankruptcy just so, you know, they could save some money. And just move on and wash the hands off the XFL and just go on with the WWE. No, 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 no. The XFL is here to stay. The file for bankruptcy, the bid, this isn't to get rid of the XFL to try to make money off of it. This isn't to bid off uh, the uniforms and uh, the stuff they own. Because, like the AAF did, this isn't that. This isn't what most of us assumed it was. No. The XFL is to live. This is a plan to save the XFL. How, you may ask? Well, here's the thing. The, uh, it's the reason why he filed for bankruptcy is because... Vincent McMahon, why he filed for to chop your love bankruptcy? Is because, well... They're not going to be coming back uh, next year. Why? Because the NFL and the uh, NCAA, college football, they could be going into spring. And their whole thing is trying to stay in spring and not compete with the NFL. And I don't know about not competing with the NCAA, but I'm sure they don't want to mess with the NFL and the NCAA at the same time right now. They're trying to do football when there is no football. And they're giving uh, college players an option where they can get paid. And they're giving ex-NFL players an option to where they have a second chance. It's good. It's smart. And it's really, really great. And this is just... I can't wait for it. I can't... This is... Mm. They're coming back. So, they filed because they're going to miss half a year. Uh, something outside of their control like that's outside my control uh, but y'all know what I'm talking about the thing that happened outside my control that killed the XFL this league we all know was going to succeed if it wasn't for the incident that's still going on right now that we're getting slowly getting out of hopefully but and then they were going to go another season without playing because they don't want to compete with the NFL and their spring league and blah, blah, blah. And so they're going to wait. And they're learning uh, from some of their mistakes from this season. Uh, they're not uh, about paying MetLife too much money for their New York team. Uh, they were going to relocate teams that were going better. San Antonio was going to get a football team. They might still get a football team. I can't wait to see that. Houston Roughnecks versus the San Antonio, whatever Alamo theme team that is. This is this auction. They're not pawning off the XFL. They're looking for investors to invest in this league to help them with sports knowledge. This is insider's information. This is leak. This is real information I'm giving you. They're looking for help uh 
to uh, with money who loves sports who pro probably wants an NFL team but you know they can't get one so you know what XFL next best thing it's it's they're looking for people to help get there uh, uh, there's gonna be relocations it's gonna be what uh, Houston better stay they better if not is if San Antonio gets one I'll be okay but Houston better stay I like the Roughnecks we're still the best team in the XFL right now we don't have any players right now uh, no team does but we'll see. Hopefully, we'll still be good. This is just, ooh, I can't, I can't. Ooh, I can't this is gonna be super good. Uh, paying some stadiums less. They're gonna be paying some coaches less. They're gonna be looking for investors to get this league back up and running. They could be back as early as 2022. I don't know. That may be stretching it. I, I'm hoping 2023, 2024, but. Who knows? They could be. They could very well easily be back. 2022. Not coming back 2021 for reasons like I said. But this year, this July, they're going to get investors. It's not going to be like a normal auction. No, it's going to be looking for possibly multiple investors to help them. This is going to be. I can't. I can't wait. The, the XFL is not dead. It is very much alive. Is it thriving? No. But it's not gone yet. We still have hope. This video, I don't know how many XFL people are out there. I don't know how many are going to watch this. But this video is to let people know it's not over yet. We still have hope. The XFL is still here. The XFL is going to return. The XFL is not dead. Amir, it's not dead. Not yet. There's still a hope. There's still hope. There's still a chance. And when it returns, and when it co comes back, I'll be waiting for your video, man. This is. Oh, this is gonna be great. I can't wait for it. Oh, this is great news. Holy sh. I'm excited. <laughs> I am excited. It's dark outside. Dark. I, I just saw this. This is old news. But I just saw. I went up. I lost hope. I saw three day old video. And I uh, confirmed it. And it's XFL is back. Other side. XFL is back baby. Let's go. Hope Roughnecks come back. But you know what? The XFL is coming back. Let's go.